everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to continental food and cake tv if it's your first time here you're welcome this is continental food and cake tv in today's video i'm going to show you how i smoke my macro in the oven yes in the oven living abroad is so difficult to get this uh, mac uh, smoke macro and even when you find one is expensive so i tend to do my own myself in here i have five macro so i'm going to be smoking them in the oven so if you want to see how i'm going to do that please keep watching but before then do not forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell so that whenever i upload you will not miss it and write that in the comment section what recipe you want me to do next or what recipe you're finding difficult to do let me know that please do not forget to thumbs up this video and comment down below so i have five macro here so what i'm going to do i'm going to start by cleaning and washing it so i'm going to wash this straight because i'm going to transfer the fish here when i finish washing it i need it clean so i'll keep that aside so with the fish you need a scissors scissors like this so i'm going to cut out this i don't know if it's the ear but i'm taking it out we don't need that then take this out take out the tail but not completely as in halfway so i'll do this with all of them i'm being careful so that the the scissors will not cut me i love this macro so much most especially the smoky one if you use it to cook like jello fries, there's this jello fries that I use it to cook or okra soup. In short, it goes with ev almost everything. Almost, you can even use it to make fried egg. As in, this, the macro tastes really well. It has a very good taste. So next, what I'm going to do is use a knife. I'm going to use a knife and cut in between here. Where the, I think this is where the intestine and yeah so you can see what is in there so i'm going to take them out take it out yeah take it out then take in the head there's this thing here we just take it and see just pull it out it's easy to come out so it's not that difficult so i'm going to be doing this with all of them use a knife and cut in between the belly i think i would say it's the belly not very sure correct me if i'm wrong i don't know but i think it's the belly so but if it's not the belly let me know so, so that's what i'm doing i'm going to introduce with this i'm not using a lot of ingredients but i'll show you what i'm going to be using to spice it as we go along and apart from macro i think you can still smoke other fish if there's any fish that you like that is your favorite and you want to eat smoked fish, you can still do the same with this, with this rest, as in this method, as in smoking your fish in the oven. You can do that. Because I'm not using the grill, I'm using the oven. So with the fish, all you need to do is open the head, run your hand through it, because there's this black thing here, it's bitter, I don't like it. And there's some here. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to wash it, but at the same time trying to take make sure that i take all those black stuff out from the fish you see like all this don't want it so you can see this is how clean you want it you want it clean so i'm going to leave so one is ready so i'm going to do the same with all of them wash all of them wash all the fish so i've washed the macro fish it's well washed so here is the macro fish. So what I'm going to do next is spice it with salt, but a little bit. I'm not going to be using a lot of salt. So this is the salt I have here, just about half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to be using this as well. It's a smoked paprika to spice it because macro has a very good taste already. So you don't want to over season or over spice it. So next we need a toothpick. I'm going to show you what we are going to be using this toothpick for. So I'll start by rub. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of concussion. I'll mix the paprika and the salt together. So I'll mix it together to make it easier. So it's well mixed. 
about half a teaspoon half a teaspoon of each so spray it on top sprinkle 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 I love when I'm doing things like this so I'm going to turn it over or flick it over then do the same thing rub my hand in inside like I need some of the spices there so that's it as simple as that if you don't want to use paprika you can leave it out it's just optional so you can just use all this salt and use it's still gonna come out nice so what we're going to do now is fold the fish just like I, I buy it in the in the marketplace back home they fold the fish like this that's how they sell it they, they bring it to the market when it's smoked and you pass it in between the the mouth this is the mouth like that like that hold it and use a toothpick and go like that see that's how to secure it did you see that that's one now so I'll keep it aside I'm going to be doing the same with all of them so you hold one like that, you pass it like this. Let me turn it the other way so that you see it. You pass it like that through the the mouth. And when you pass it, you hold this one, that one like that. Then you use your toothpick and pass it through the other side. Bring the other one and pass it through the other side. So that's it. That's how to secure it. You take the fish and you fold it like that. One fish, you fold it like that. Pass it. Use a toothpick and go like this. We need a baking rag. Align one with uh, foil paper, then the other one I'm going to put on top. So I have two baking rags in total. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to rub the the rag with uh, the butter, just for it not to stick. But you can use this um, oil, cooking oil, but I prefer to use butter. And the next thing I always do is with the fish. With the fish as well, I rub it a little bit of butter. It, it gives it this flavor. This is optional. You can use um, oil, but I prefer butter. I just prefer butter. But if you don't want to use butter, you can use oil. Rub it all over the body or skin. The fish, macro fish. So I'm going to transfer it here transfer the fish here so I'll gently drop the fish next I'm going to put the fish in the oven and I've preheat my oven in 180 degree and, and what I'm going to do is check it every half an hour I'll take it after half an hour to see what it looks like but let me give you an advice if you're if you're going to be doing this in your house, it's best to open all your windows, as in your kitchen door, your windows, because this has a, it has a, it's, it's not a, a bad smell, but it has this fishy smell. So if you don't open your windows, that is your kitchen window and the door, your house, the whole house will be smelling fish, fish. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. Open all my windows, my kitchen door, open it down so that the, the air will be coming in, so that the fish will not be smelling all over my house. It's just a tip, but... If you like the fish smell, you can just forget about what I'm saying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this tray first. That's the first tray. Here. At the bottom. That's that one. What's the second tray? This is the second tray going here. The reason why I'm doing that is that you want the liquid because when the fish will be smoking or in the oven, it's going to be dropping out some liquid. So you need this one too. So that where the liquid is going to be dropping, 
So that's why I have two, two of them there. So I'm going to cover it now and come back in half an hour to see what it looks like. So I'm going to open the oven now to see what the fish is looking like. But this is after one hour. Sorry, I lost the footage where I showed the fish baking for half an hour. So this fish has been baking for one hour. This is the macro fish that we smoke in the oven. I used the oven, I didn't use the grill. So you can do this with the oven. You can see how it looks. It looks really smoky. Very, very smoky. Just like it is in Africa, you can see. And the setting that I use, I didn't flick it over when it was in the oven. What I used was the setting that I used was where the oven, where the heat is up and down. If you use the your setting where the heat is up and down, you don't need to flick it over. All you just need to do is leave it there and it's going to, it's going to smoke back and front. You see how beautiful it looks. Try this and let me know if you're going to be trying this. Smoking your own macro fish is going to save you a lot of money. And you can use one or two and keep the rest in the freezer for next time you're going to be cooking. And you can use this macro fish to cook a lot of things. It tastes really nice. So please try it. If you're new to this channel and you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload you will not miss it. Comment down there what you like about the video and what you want me to do next and do not forget to like this video and also follow me on instagram continentalfood.cake i'm going to put the link to my instagram on the description box so please check the description box for more information thanks for watching and to all my new subscriber thank you so much for subscribing to the old subscriber thank you so much and to all of you who have been writing me nice comment down there Thank you so much. I love you all and I will see you in another one. Bye-bye.